For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 21 of the Oviedo career mode series here on FIFA 17. It is February the 1st. We have a game away from home against Nastique, just... 24 hours after the game against Sevilla in the Cup and uh, we'll be up to three games per episode now for this series So we'll be playing Nastique, Cordoba and Sevilla in today's video So uh, hopefully you guys are pleased with the return to three games per video uh, I, It's about time I was able to do that isn't it? I'm kind of coming out of my busy 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 period I've got the, uh, when will you see this? I don't know when you'll see this You might see this Monday I've got the British Grand Prix on Sunday, I'm recording this Thursday so uh, I've got the British Grand Prix on Sunday and then I'm free for about a month rather than <laughs> busy every few days. So uh, three games per episode. I know you guys have been itching for it to get back up to that. So let's not waste any time. Let's head into this game away from home against Nastique. Try and improve our lead at the top of the table and see if we can't get ourselves into a cup final. Although, of course, we're 2-0 down after that first leg against Sevilla. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. And here we go. Toro across there to Christian Fernandez. Dart inside. Get that there to Sanchez. Into Toche. Sanchez could go again. Playing a real, real rotation side in this game. Because even even my rotation team was still quite tired in uh, certain areas from the game that they played before the Sevilla one. So uh, we are struggling with squad rotation right now. But I don't think... It's this sort of situation we'll see repeat itself many times throughout this series. So I'm not, I'm not overly fussed about it at present. But I would like to uh, still get the victory if I can. And Toche's in here. And I'll hit this across goal. That's oh, a good save. Win the header, please. Challenge for it. Mosa wins the header and Gerard, or Herard keeps it in. First chance of the game comes and goes after 10 mins. It's nil-nil. Sanchez out wide to Ortiz. Sanchez is there again. So we'll pull it back inside. Get through that gap to Toche, and there's a little bit of oh, room there, but Toche's done well. We'll poke that there to De Pena. We lead. He got caught as the shot came in, but he's finally finished that into the bottom corner. It's about time he actually had a decent shot, De Pena. Whenever I've played him previously, he's just been awful. I got so lucky there that it dropped back to Toche, but decent finish into the side netting. We are 1-0 up here at home, away from home even, against Nasty. Domingos will take this free kick short. Get that there to Lucas Toro. Poke that in front of Ortiz and hit it early. Oh, he hit that very hard. And Jorge's brought that down. Jorge, the centre-back. Oh, Reina diving away there. Keeps it out, but that was a decent effort from Jorge. I didn't expect him actually to have a shot that was that good. Here's Sanchez. Turned well. In there to top shape. Gets tackled, but he keeps hold of the ball. Seems to be an ability he's using quite a bit in this game so far. And I'm not going to find Eddie Lewis. And they'll clear the ball away. Close to 2-0, but a good save by their keeper. Eddie Lewis in towards Ortiz. Inside there to Toche, out to Eddie Lewis. I'm trying to pull this back to Toche. Good touch, good shot, good finish. Great finish, in fact. 2-0 here in the 29th minute. That's really nicely tucked away from Toche. Plays the 1-2 with the marauding Eddie Lewis from right back. Takes his touch to set him himself and then buries that in the bottom corner. This is actually going rather well so far, 2-0. That's a nice ball into Barrero, who spun well. I'm trying to get... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> That was just ridiculous. I couldn't get it away. No matter what I did, it just kept pinball, pinballing around. 2-1 on the brink of half-time. That was, that was so scrappy. It was probably the scrappiest goal I think I've ever conceded ever. Oh, my word. 2-1. Novato. Inside, he's going to go for the 1-2 with a manner, perhaps. He hasn't. Oh, good tackle. Oh, but it's dropped free straight to Tejera. In here to Luis me back to Tejera, Amanis stayed down, across here to Meniz, oh I'm worried about the pullback, I'm still worried about the pullback, he went for the shot and I've blocked it but he's still got the ball here Meniz, it's a lovely turn, not once but twice, please don't squeeze that home, keeper saves and we will clear it, thankfully it drops to a defender and not straight to an attacker to poke home into an empty net, as it did twice for Sevilla in yesterday's episode which was infuriating in a game of that magnitude but hopefully we get a little bit more luck in the second leg today I'm gonna to play this all the way out wide here to De Pena hopefully he's got enough stamina to get away from Lobato that's trying to close me down and then have we got a decent delivery and the answer is no Sanchez around the corner there to Toche get back inside to Sanchez poke that through there to Lucas Toro oh what a terrible shot 
You moron, Lucas. How have you shot that badly from there? If he uses his right foot, outside of his right foot, then that flies in the back of the net, but he's just slashed at it with his left. Absolutely terrible. 15 minutes to go. What are the defenders doing? So much space in this far side for Ortiz. Into the box. Turn inside and finish. Oh, no. <laughs> Please, give me a little bit of luck. Oh, I guess I had luck for my first goal, didn't I? So I can't complain too much, but it was a lovely run. Depeña will whip this. Unfortunately, Ortiz hasn't read it, but we'll take the corner. Cheers, Mossa. He's just completely balls that up. Ortiz will cross in. Underneath it could be Sanchez, could be anyone. Suzuki is going to be the man to slash it clear. Close to 3-1. Very close to 3-1. The width of a post away from 3-1, but still just the two. There goes the final whistle. A 2-1 win away from home against Nastique. Pleased with the three points and the relatively dominant performance. But most important thing was the win. How did everybody else around us get on? Almeria won. Uh, Cordoba are yet to play against Valladolid. We, of course, play them next. So that's going to be a huge game, actually, with regards to the league title. It's first versus... They drew. Our lead has extended back up to four points. Almeria there on 43 and five points behind. So it looks as if it's probably going to be a three-way fight for the title. At least a three-way fight for the uh, top two. So if we can win against Cordoba here, then I'd say we're probably guaranteed top two. Although there is still quite a way to go. But if we do anything other than... Uh, win here then it's probably going to go all the way to the end of the season I really would like to get a win here if I can scout reports coming back on a couple of players a little bit too late now although one of was one of them was for Heselu who we've already committed to signing all right then let's head into this game against Cordoba and try and get another set oh god my first team's still really tired and everybody else is gonna be absolutely shattered um oh this is so annoying hopefully we get a break with regards to the um the first team rotation, or just in general, just a break in the fixer list uh, soon. I'm going to throw Nando on the... I'll put Nando there, and then let's put Vitti on the left. Let's do that. All right. Right then. Heading into the game against Cordoba in the snow for, hopefully, another set of three points. Tackled by David Costas. I think it'll get it back to Nando. Put that across there to Figuera. Vitti through the gap looking for Michu. Good first touch. Need runners. One of which is Vitti again. He's in the box. Vitti! Oh dear, that was a bit wild, wasn't it? Oh wow. Okay, note to self. Perhaps be a little bit more composed in front of goal with Vitti. He's just... God, that's so bad. Nil-nil. Corner to come in for Cordoba. 19th minute. Good delivery, that. Keeper's come to punch. It will drop as far as Edu Ramos. Back in there to Alfaro. Oh, nice turn by Rodas. Good save by Herrero. That was dangerous. First chance, really, for Cordoba to take the lead, but they haven't been able to use it. We look forward to meet you. In there to Nando. It's not gone as well as I'd hoped to get the ball around the corner. We could squeeze that through it and Vila's in. Is he onside? Oh, it doesn't matter whether he was onside or not, because that shot was absolutely diabolical. What on... Oh, could he have hit that further wide? Oh my days. Wow. Nice tackle by Vila. Oh, Nando stretched for it and couldn't get there, but he has been able to get to it now. And I'll return it to him. This is the best chance. I'm going to play that around the corner. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Cordoba, but this game has been so void of any class or quality because of the conditions that I just had to ensure that I got the goal. Oh, you've seen a couple of my efforts so far in this game that have gone so horribly wide. And there really hasn't been that many goal-scoring opportunities at all. It's a shame that a game of this magnitude, like first versus second, when there's not much between them in the league, has been tainted slightly by the poor conditions which has meant that the quality of football just hasn't been there in this game but if we can grind out the victory then that's the most important thing it doesn't matter how good the quality of football is in the game if you get the three points that's all that matters so with 19 minutes to go we do finally have ourselves that 1-0 lead and I'd very much like to hold on to it until the final whistle David Costas has gone down and he's going to have to be substituted off here that's not what I needed with the fixer list being as congested as it is right now, an injury to one of my best centre backs. Javi Lara into Caro. Nice tackle by David Fernandez. Figueroa will look to work it away. There's only three minutes left. Dimitri was on side there, and I'll try and get this back to Nando, who has a little bit of pace, but no stamina at present. We use the space for Vitti, though. And Tonito closing me down. Vitti's turning inside very well. We'll look to find Michu. And can he get a shot off on his right foot? No, he can't get a shot off at all. The ball just wouldn't leave his feet for some reason. Get the tackle in there with Figueroa, not once but twice. But still can't win it back properly. Only two minutes added on at the end of the game, so 
I'd like to think, oh, it's going to be at least a 1-0, maybe a 2-0 win if we can get something from this. Uh, I'm just going to hold on to the ball, though. I don't want to unnecessarily give it away. Work the ball around. That didn't quite work, but here's Figuera. Uh, Nando's going to make the run around the outside. And we'll play him in and then turn inside. And Nando hits the ball straight at Vila. Vila again underneath it. I'm going to lay this back if I can, out-muscled. And there's the final whistle. Oh, a couple of scrappy games, to be honest, so far today. The first one was just scrappy because... I don't know, the second one because of the weather, but hopefully we can show a better account of ourselves in the uh, game against Sevilla, although we've come away with two victories from those two games, so I can't complain too much, and it is going to be a rotated side to play against Sevilla, so I think we're just going to have to accept that we aren't going to be going through to the Copa del Rey final this year, but I'm not too fussed about that, the board only wanted us to reach the round of 32, and we've gotten to the semi-finals and knocked out some very prestigious teams in the process. So we can be happy with our performance in that competition this year. More scout reports coming back, presumably. Varela wants to discuss wages. OK, I'll do that. David Costas is up for three months. Superb. Wonderful, amazing, thrilling FML. Right, well, I'll go and deal with Varela's wages. And then I'll swap out Costas. And then... Eventually, we will play Sevilla. Down lines Tremolinas. Not really any need for the no-look pass, though, I don't think, with Sam. And Zonzi back here to Vitolo. This is good football from Sevilla, and I can't really cope with it. And Zonzi actually loses out strength-wise to Ed Lewis, but can't work it to a teammate. Johnny Reese makes the tackle. We'll work this forward, I think. There we go. Eventually get it to Toche. Quickly into Russia from Berhon. I'll dink it over. He could get in behind here. He's got Mariano closing him down. He is quick. We've turned well. And I'm going to try and get that in there to Russia. Is that a foul? It is. Penalty given. A lifeline. A lifeline. Perhaps. Maybe. I've got to score it first. Referee's going to come across. He's not going to give a card. I want to see a replay. It was just a clumsy challenge, I think. Russia turned away. And yeah, you see him just reach in and stand on his toes. Bit of an extravagant dive. But Susayeta will step up to take it. And... Score it. We're not out of this competition yet. 1-0 to us on the night. 2-1 to Sevilla on aggregate. We just need to avoid conceding any away goals because that would really kill me off. But we've started the right way. Mariano across there to Vitolo. Nice turn. It's gotten away from me. Vitolo, where are you going? He's just running side to side on the edge of the box at the minute. And Arise gets the tackle in. Work this out wide right here to Sayeta. Quickly forward to Toche. Across there. We'll use the left back first. Fernandez could get that in there. Turn inside well though. Pull that back looking for a teammate. Be honest, I saw the referee and thought he was a teammate. That's good football though. Vialba. Get that back inside. Oh, it's a terrible ball, but Toche could work the space. Toche! Oh dear, Sergio Rico with a save. Decent effort that from the edge of the box. Cross to come in. Susayeta whips it, flick that on maybe, or flick it away from Sarabia, and the chance is gone. And, oh, maybe not, Rocha, into Vialba, through, oh, looking for Toche, but I think he was offside. Sarabia will keep this in, and an early cross is dangerous, headed by Tremolinas, corner, came off Ed Lewis. What can Sevilla do from the set piece, Vitolo to take it? I think one away goal would kill me off, because, oh no, would kill me off, because I don't see myself scoring, uh, see myself. I don't see myself scoring three goals, to be honest. Because, of course, if Sevilla get one, that would mean that... Uh, actually, I'd need four, wouldn't I? Because they go through and away goals. They'd be 3-1 up on aggregate. So, yeah, I'd need to score another three goals if they score one. It's really not going to do me any favours. A clean sheet here is an absolute must. Toche. Oh, it's nicely through. Bahon! I'm, I'm having chances, though. What's the betting? I get myself in the position to go through and then in the last minute they score an away goal and we end up going out. What is the betting? You know my luck on this game. Right, corner's come in again. Susayeta whips. It's a good delivery. Up goes Jorge and Sergio Rico claims. Nice ball through looking for Franco Vasquez. Nasri back to Cranabitter to Nasri again. Intercepted though, but Nasri still comes away with it and there are four players for him to aim at here. Vasquez to Kranovic, who's going to go for the 1-2. Vasquez on his left foot, decides to drill it across. I would have shot in that situation and gone across goal. That might be the one attacking decision they've made in this game that costs them in the long run if I can find another goal. If they'd have scored that, then 
I would have said that that was them definitely through because I don't see myself scoring another three goals and we'd have gone out on away goals. But with it just still just being the 1-0 and then not having that away goal yet, oh, I say yet, yeah, I've got a corner again. We are still in with a shell. Franco Vasquez should have shot there. And he's actually been taken off now for Ganso. And Zonzi's underneath it. We said he's going to be a danger from set pieces. It's actually Vitolo with the final header. 28 minutes to go. Still 2-1 to Sevilla on aggregate. Great football from Sevilla. Ganso pulling that back to the left back again. This is undefendable at times from Sevilla. Jovetic is in. Can't score. Oh, thankfully and Zonzi went for the extravagant and balls it up. Otherwise that certainly would have been... 1-1 on the night, 3-1 on aggregate, and game over for us. Toche across here to Lucas Toro. I have made a couple of changes. I'll put this up wide to Ortiz, who's also come on. Jonathan Pereira is now on the pitch too. Good cross. Toche's underneath it. It might still drop to someone, but Sergio Rico claims it. Chances at both ends. But we're still heading out with 14, 13 minutes to go. Oh, as if that squeezed in. Oh, I thought I was going to get it away, so I didn't bother commentating. And Ganso chests that down and sweeps it home. That is game over. That is Sevilla into the Copa del Rey final. I'm so disappointed. Oh. I'll have a look at the replay. He crossed it in here, Nasri. And I thought, defender's got that. And then I thought, defender would challenge for that. But no, Ganso just chests it down and smacks it home. Oh, R.I.P. me. 1-1 one, one on the night, 3-1 to Sevilla. We are out of the Copa del Rey. Good header. Can we get another goal? No, we can't get another goal. There's the final whistle. A 1-1 one, one draw on the night, a 3-1 defeat, unfortunately, on aggregate. We lose at the semi-final stage of the Copa del Rey, but we lose to one of the best sides in the country in Sevilla. Definitely in the top five for uh, Spanish teams. So they will face either Deportivo La Coruña or Real Betis in the final at the end of the season. That should mean that our fixture congestion problems will be no more for the rest of the season. So hopefully we can, I'll just quickly check the uh, fixture list to ensure we've got a, a decent enough break before Tenerife, then via the lead, then it, who's that? Uh, Cadiz. And then yeah, it's weeks, it's a week, a week's break each time, apart from at the end of the season where, no, no, to be fair, yeah, no, Levante and Mallorca and then all right, we should be all right squad management-wise. We should be okay. Uh, the league still looks very much in our favour. You're seeing he's declined his contract. Why? Uh, contract length terms have not been met. Oh, I must have not offered him as long a contract as he wanted. Fair enough. Sorry, my man. I apologise. But that's going to be all for today. We have extended our lead at the top of the table now to seven points, although there are still 16 games to go. So uh, plenty still to be done in the league, but fingers crossed... We can do what we need to to get automatic promotion. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too if you're new around here. I'll see you next time.